Hi guys and welcome to episode 2 of Bringing Back Brum. Today it's the opening day of the championship season. We are off to Portman Road to take on Ipswich Town. We've got a couple of new signings to introduce to you after the intro. Now, I should point out that all three of the signings are loan deals. So the first one is Aidan Flint. He is on loan from Bristol City, central defender. Key attributes for Aidan are his physical ones. Stamina, strength, jumping reach and balance. He has good bravery at 16, heading is 16, work rate of 18. So he is a bit of a workhorse and he's definitely what we need in the central defence department. Moving forward into midfield, we have Emerson Hyman on loan from Bournemouth. 21-year-old American international can play the deep-lying playmaker role, which is something I like to do. His stats are very, very good, so I'm pleased to bring Emerson on loan. I've had him a few times with FM in the past, so I know him a little bit. So yeah, delighted to have him back and working with him again. And the last man in, for the moment at least, is Ben Brereton. He is on loan from Nottingham Forest. One of their youth team players, only 18 years of age, but has the potential to be a four and a half star player. I don't think we're going to be able to keep hold of him, if I'm in truth. He will probably go back to Forest once his loan ends, but we'll certainly try. Finishing at 12, stamina of 15, work rate of 14 are th things that stand out to me. As an advance forward again, it's something I like to play. So I'm looking forward to seeing Ben in action and hopefully we can tie him up to a deal before his loan ends. Taking a trip to the medical centre, we have two additions. Not there for long. Obviously, Lukas Jukovic is still there. He's going to be out for six days to two weeks now. So his calf strain has healed somewhat from episode one. Jake Weaver, one of the backup goalkeepers, has got a twisted ankle. He'll be out for a day. Harley Dean has a gashed head, so he will miss the game with Ipswich, but he's also suspended anyway, so he wouldn't have been playing regardless. And before we kick off the championship season, just to reiterate our targets for the season, so a top half finish is what the board expect. We hope to go a little bit higher than that. Reach the fourth round of the FA Cup and reach the third round of the Carabao Cup. One to watch. And before we get into today's game, it's time to look at the one to watch, and that is David McGoldrick. Now, he is a bit of an enigma. He's had 124 appearances for Ipswich Town, but he's only scored 34 goals. He has been injured quite a lot of the time since he's been there. He's been here six years. But he is a very good player, finishing potentially up to 16, free kick taking up to 15 long shots up to 17 as I say he is an enigma on his day he is a very good player and if we are going to beat Ipswich in the opening game of the season we're going to have to stop David McGoldrick and taking a look at the trusty match preview screen so Ipswich are actually favourites to win at 6-4 to four. we're 13-8 to eight with 2-1 to one the draw they've got a couple of people missing Danny Rowe Tom Adiemi is also missing Obviously, you can see the suspensions there for us. Both Paul Robinson and Harley Dean are going to miss the game through suspension. Harley Dean joined from Brentford in the summer and obviously has a suspension carrying over. There is no form. This is the first game of the championship season. Looking at the league table, you can see that Sunderland are top of the table. They beat Derby last night in the championship's opening game on the Friday night before the season began. And today's referee is Stephen Martin. So let's take a look at the two lineups, starting with our host Ipswich Town. So they start with Bartov, Bilkowski in goal. Ayorfa, Chambers, Spence and Knutson. Selna, Skews, Ward, Richardson, Waghorn and the one to watch, David McGoldick up front. We start with Stockdown in goal. Colin, Flint, Morrison, Grounds, Hyman, Davis, Adams, Jota, Mahoma with Sam Gallagher up front. So with the opening game of the season, it is always important to get off to a winning start. Can we do it? Let's find out as we get us underway 
That's a free kick to Ipswich. Richardson will fling it into the box. Chambers looks to head it on, but straight to Stockdale. And he's beaten grounds. He's still going. Dominic Iorfa on to Goldrick, but he's headed wide. Grounds again. Back to Hyman. Jota shoots on. All right. Hyman into Davis. Davis all oh, on to Adams, but it's a good save by Bilkowski, and it's out for a corner. Looking over the top for Waghorn. And he's in behind Flint. Morrison heads away. Only as far as Selner. Good block from Colin Richardson. Looking over the top again for Waghorn. He's in behind, but he's shot wide. And I think we're going to have to make an adjustment there. Slightly deeper. And that is half time. When you've had more yellow cards than you have good goal scoring opportunities, you know it's been a bit drab. But the goal hopefully will come in the second half. Mahoma will take the free kick. It's good. Oh, straight to Bilkowski, but it was so close to going in. Let's have a look at a change, shall we? Uh, going to take off Jota and we're going to bring on Isaac Fassell. And we'll see if that makes any difference. Let's have a look at another change, shall we? So we're going to bring Brereton on. See what he can do. Stockdale will take the goal kick. Looking wide for Mahoma, but it's only as far as Freddie Sears. McGoldrick. Good tackle. Morrison into Adams. Looking for Brereton over the top, but Chambers is going to get there. Sears looking down the line for McGoldrick. Get back. McGoldrick will swing it in. Oh, it's hit the top of the crossbar. Garner's favourite to get there first. It was a good tackle from Flint. Colin. Skews with the tackle. Someone going to close him down. It's me. Richardson looking for McGoldrick. Wide to Sears. Jonathan Grounds has got to stop the cross. Hasn't done. Headed on by McGoldrick, but just wide. Stockdale with the goal kick. We are over time, and we are out of time. So a point for our first game of the season. It's not a bad point to dip switch, though. So after week one, we are 11th. One point, obviously, with a draw. Aston Villa up in second. That will not please many. So as I said, a trip to Ipswich is a difficult place to go. They are very difficult to beat at home. So, I'm not entirely disappointed with a draw. We probably should have won it, potentially, although they did have that chance with McGoldrick hitting the bar right at the end. But there we are. Off the mark. A point on the board. Hopefully many more to follow it. Now, if you've enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel and would like to do so, please click the subscribe button down in the corner. That was episode two of Bringing Back Brum. I will see you next time for episode three. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.